Well, this is just a quick little video to talk about the reliability of ESP32s. You know, I've had a bunch of these things over the last few years. You know, I've made boards like this, different versions of these. I've had modules like these. I got some modules like these. I was trying to kind of count up and figure out how many of these things I've had. I've probably had, I don't know, 30 or more that I've used for different projects over the uh, over the last couple of years and so I was thinking about actually I was working on the cube project um, for my dad which if you guys remember that it had this this burned out the LEDs actually burned out on this thing so I had to get some new panels but the SP32 is just rocking right along so I thought I would just talk a little bit about it you know because of all the ESP32s I've had, maybe 30 of them, I've had two that have gone bad. And, and these are boards, actually. So I think really just one of them, I think this one, might I might have damaged that. This one, I think that the uh, connection, the um, USB to serial connector has gone bad on this module. So I think this ESP32 is still good. This one, I'm not sure. I I think the ESP32, I might have overvoltaged it and burned it up. I don't know. But so maybe I've had one ESP32 go bad. But how long have I been using them? Well, if you guys remember some of my projects, this was my first ESP32 project, the Wave Clock. It's been going now for three years. So this was my first ESP32 been cranking right along no problem connects to the internet many times a day it does its thing this is the network monitor and this thing's been running for two years um, I mean it's it does its thing I, I rely on this because it it checks all my different networks that I uh, am responsible for and lets me know if, if there's ever a problem with them. So yeah, this thing's just been cranking along. Um, but that's pretty pretty impressive. I mean, for a for a four dollar part, can't beat it. Uh, but there's one more that I want to show you. So let me go outside. I'm going to walk down to my dad's house. All right, I'm gonna, let me walk down here through the woods to my dad's house. We'll take a look at the last one I'm going to show you. And he is not here. Okay, well, he's gone somewhere. Guess we'll come back in a minute. Okay, he finally came home. So this is what I wanted to show you in his van right here. It is this thing right here, which is the cube project. Now, the really crazy thing about this is it's been running for what a year year and a half or something like that but it's been sitting right here on his dash in the sun in the cold i mean so we get temperatures in the hundreds fahrenheit around here in the summer it's been through two summers and you know we get down in the teens in the winter so it's just been sitting here right in the sun uh doing its thing not missing a beat for um for a year and a half and they, so, you know, the ESP has just been cranking along. So I would say, overall, these things are great. I mean, you pay $4 for them, and they are very reliable. You know, this is communicating with the ESP. I mean, with the uh, GPS, it also connects to the Internet when he parks at night and updates his time zones and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, well, that's it. I like ESP32s. I think they're great. So that's my opinion.